Hey besties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Candice and I'm back with another video. So in today's video today, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a highly requested makeup tutorial that has been asked a lot really from TikTok. So I'm gonna bring it over here because this tutorial is gonna be like more detailed. And plus I haven't did like a makeup tutorial on YouTube for like a couple months and I really changed a lot of things, not necessarily like the base of it, but like the things I use are different and I just feel like it's so much better now. So this makeup routine, it's gonna be my makeup routine that I'm going to have in 2024. This makeup routine has had me in a chokehold since October, well no, since November. It's had me in a chokehold since November and I found some products that really match my skin tone and I've been loving it. The girls have been loving it ever since. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So let's get right and straight into this video. Before we get into any foundation, the most important part of your makeup routine is primer. There's different types of primers based on your skin type and what you use. I have oily skin. And for me, a silicone base just does it for me. It vibes with me a lot. As someone with oily skin, your pores are literally out. So this really helps minimize everything. So now while that's priming, the next thing that I'm gonna prime is my eyebrows. And I'm gonna be using this e.l.f. Clear Brow and Last Mascara. I'm literally running out, like I literally have nothing in here because I use it so much. And like, I'm so proud of my eyebrows because the girlies put me on with castor oil. Castor oil is absolutely your best friend when it comes to eyelashes and eyebrows. So now that everything is done priming, I'm gonna go in with this Revlon uh, foundation and it's in the shade 440. I'm just gonna use like a little bit of the foundation. And the trick for me is to achieve like that natural looking skin, even though you have makeup on is to rub your foundation in, and this just works for me, make sure your hands are clean, to rub the foundation in before going in with the makeup tool. Okay, so then I'm gonna go with my brush. And I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna like brush it all the way. Before I brush it all the way, I'm gonna go in with a darker concealer. And to be honest, what's so weird about this is I've always ordered in the shade, but for some reason when I received this this time, it came in a much darker shade, so. I use this concealer to kind of get all the dark marks around my mouth, just to give like myself a more cleaner look. And now I blend out everything. Now going in with the cheeks as like the foundation base and all that, I'm gonna be going in with this e.l.f. Putty Blush. I've had this for a really long time. This blush is gonna serve as a color corrector. Now I could go buy some color corrector and just get one and I did at some point. I had this color corrector and I just tried it out because it's like, well, why am I using a blush as a color corrector? But I don't care at this point. This blush is so much better than the color correctors that I've used. What I'm gonna do, I have some hyperpigmentation in these areas. I mean, I don't think the camera's picking it up because of the lighting, but I have some hyperpigmentation in these areas. So to kind of even out my skin tone, I'm gonna take some of the blush and I'm gonna pat it on there. And the thing about red, when you put it, like as a color corrector, I think what it does or what I heard what it does is like it blocks out or helps like all that hyperpigmentation and kind of even out the skin tone. Now we're gonna be going in with the same concealer that I used for earlier around my mouth. Oh, and this one by the way is by LA, LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I'm gonna put this on my cheeks. Now you can see like, I feel like that's like so much darker on my face. So what I do to minimize and like even that out is I go in with another concealer that I'm eventually gonna use on my eyes, like under my eyes. And this one's by Wet n Wild and it's in the shade Dark Coca. And I'm gonna put it all, I'm gonna give it like a good two lines or whatever. I'm gonna blend that in. Now I'm gonna be going in with the ladder concealer that I use for my cheeks. I'm gonna go right under my eyes. Some right here, some right here, and some right here. I used to be one of those girlies who right after they apply their concealer, I just go right in and blend. And for a while that worked for me, but as I got older, I started to realize I can't do that anymore. So what I have to do is, or just to avoid creasing is to really wait for the concealer to dry. And then once it's dry, then you can go in with like your makeup tool. You can pat it on under because child, I don't know, 2023, like I feel like so many things change with my face. So that's why I feel like my makeup routine definitely has changed a lot because I'm not 
the same age as I was when I first started makeup. So I have to try different tips and tricks now because it's, it's definitely not the same. While my under eye is drying, I'm gonna go in with my eyebrows and I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Black. So I don't do too much with my eyebrows. I lightly tap the brow pomade into the brush because it's so pigmented. Even if you do just a little bit, it just gets the job done. Now to give like my eyebrow like such a more cleaner and smoother look, I'm gonna be going in with the same concealer that I use from under my eyes and I'm gonna be going in with that under my eyebrow. And then the darker concealer that I used from earlier, I'm gonna be going over that with the top of my eyebrow. After I like apply it right under here, I'm gonna pull it down. And this just helps, like putting it down like this, it helps give it such a more natural look instead of just going across like that. It gives it a more harsher look, but if you like it, you got it, girl. Girls who get it, get it, and the girls that don't, don't. So now that my brows are done, I'm gonna go ahead and tap. I'm gonna use my finger instead of a beauty blender or any of that because I just find for me personally, it gives a better look. Like there's less wrinkles that come with it. And as long as your hands are clean, this is perfectly fine. I'm gonna apply it for a second time this time, but this time when I do it, it's just gonna be a really tiny mark. First thing I'm gonna go in with first is this Fit Me powder. It's in the shade Dark and Deep. And this is a loose finishing powder. This is Zuri Naturally Sheer Pressed Powder and it's in the shade Mocha Cream. I've been using this brand also for a really long time. So after you like do all this, this helps even it out and you want to pat it on the back of your hand. I'm going to lightly... I don't know, something about the clips when you put your hair back, it just gives Victoria's Secret model. Now I'm gonna be moving on with the eyes and I have this cute sparkly little eyeliner. I can't tell y'all where I got it from because it's not like name brand. I just got it, so I start really far. Here, I do that because when I'm adding on my eyelashes, if there's some type of like black pigment under it, that way like if your lash lifts, it won't look so noticeable because there's black eyeliner right under it. I'm gonna go in with this mascara. This is by Kaja Beauty. It's like a set. So this one is like a volumizing mascara and this just helps volumize your eyelashes. I'm gonna only use this on my top eyelash. And then I'm gonna use the same thing, but instead I'm gonna use the third one and this one is a lengthening one. So it's a little hard to see like the bottom lashes, but I'm gonna go in with a second coat once I'm done with everything because that's gonna be a part of the final touch. So next, I'm gonna be going in with my nose and I'm gonna be using this Elf Contour Palette. Not too much on me, because I'm literally using the edges. I really do need to get some more, but like, not too much. Like, it's so hard to find contour that really suits dark skin. I throw the line that's already in and then I add more depth into this part. Now see, the thing about it is, I do my nose contour a little bit different because I find that where when like using concealer right on it, it just makes me look cakey. So I'm gonna be using the press powder and I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna use that on the sides. Now we're gonna go with my favorite part of like, well, yeah, it is technically my favorite part. I'm gonna go with my favorite part of doing makeup and that's the blush. Like, blush literally brings me a life. Without blush, I don't know who I would be today and I'm not even exaggerating, I'm just being real. I know this isn't a blush, but I use this as part of the blush to give like that brownish look to what I'm going for. And this one's by Juvia's Place. It's in the shade Dark and Deep and this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna use some of this, but really I use more of this. And the same blush that I used from earlier, I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna lightly pat and then I'm gonna rotate back in with this. Look at that, that's like beautiful. And I'm gonna lightly pat this to blend it in. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I forgot about the eyeshadow. So eyeshadow is not something that I do very often but for this look in Pacific this look that I'm going to be heading into for 2024 I'm using the NK under the sea palette and I'm going to be using this dark brown right here I'm going to give my eyes some depth and I'm only going to be using it in these areas right here I'm just going to blend that in very lightly 
So now moving on to the highlighter. I'm gonna be using this Kaja Beauty palette. And this is not even a highlighter. This is a, I think this is an eyeshadow. The thing about this, before I add on my highlighter, I take my brush and I use some water and just spray on it. And this will help make the highlighter pop out. Put it right here. Use my finger to blend it out. Now I'm gonna add some in the corner of my eyes. Now I'm gonna be going in with my eyelashes and I'm gonna be using this Kiss Enhensive Glue. I don't put this directly on the eyelashes because when you do, it's just gonna keep building up. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it right under, under my eyelash and not on it. Now I'm, I'm gonna allow that to dry. I'm not gonna even try to rush its rushing process because while this is drying, we're gonna go ahead and get into the lip liner. Looking for a brown lip liner for me as a darker skin girl has been one of the hardest things because for me, I don't like it to be too dark and I don't like it to be too light. So finally, I found the perfect lip liner that I probably won't be able to buy because this is an Asian brand, so it's harder to find this on the Amazon and all that stuff. And this was sent to me, so it's not like I can find this again unless I contact the seller. See, now, like, when I'm going to school or something like that, what I'll do is I'll use this right here. Oh, my gosh. See, like, see how that's already looking? It's already given. But I'll use this. Don't make fun of me. It's crumbled up, I know. This fell one day, and ever since then, I've been going through the trenches. But after you add, like, one coat of your lip liner, you want to go on top of this and you just want to lightly apply that on the lip liner and it will stay for the majority of the day. Like it's already giving me that 90s vibe that I'm looking for. So now I'm going to go in with this gloss, this pink gloss, and it's going to go so perfectly with this. It's like it's literally going to melt in my lips. This is by Juicy Bomb. And look at this. Like look at that. That melted so perfectly into my skin. Like I love it. So now I'm going to go on top with this Famous Drugstore Lip Gloss. Now, I think my lash glue has dried for a little too long, but it is what it is. And the lashes that I'm using is by Ruby Lashes. I think this was sent to me from like a hair company. Like if you receive hair, they usually put lashes inside the, the box you receive. So I can't really tell you if you'll be able to find this. So I don't know if I'll be able to find this again, but I just take the lash and I apply it right above the lash. Then I quickly press it together and this helps secure it down once you've added the lash. Like I've been so in love with this look, like it really, really gives. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair out and do all that and then that'll be out to kinda just bring everything together and end the video. So this is it, like I'm loving this look. It's just so pretty, like it looks so well put together. And like I said about the hair, like it really complements my skin and the makeup just blends in. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to help you and give you guys some tips to help you on just perfect your makeup and just let you be looking good this 2024. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. My body gon' go with you like. So what's your sign? Cause I look cute. Got a place we can stay for the night. Vibes, we're trying to invite you. You got a gangsta vibe, and I'm on a gangsta boo.